me hey guys welcome to my channel i'm sorry that i'm in the car the reason is my little sister has been on nights last night so i didn't want to film this video in the house and just be a bit disrespectful to the fact that she needs to get some sleep because she's back in work tonight but anyway alas let's get on with the video so today's video is a my protein taste test particularly the protein bars because i've bought a lot of my protein protein bars over the past couple of weeks like i say the majority of the things are the protein bars however i do also have the clear way isolate that i've had for a while that i really wanted to try and i did say when i tried it i'd show you guys and today's the day i'm going to try it i haven't even opened it yet and then i've also got which i'm going to show you guys now because this is like the most exciting thing in the world two of these new products to try which are the limited edition swizzles collaboration with my protein and i just thought i couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy these the reason that i'm doing this video is because one you guys really enjoy my my protein taste test videos so i do hope that you guys enjoy this one as well but also i was going through the website and i was really trying to decide what protein bars to buy my protein has got a great selection of protein bars it's quite overwhelming so when you are choosing you can't even see what a picture of the protein bar looks like and you just see the box which is a little bit annoying because you kind of want to know what you're buying so if you guys are having that trouble then this is the video for you because you'll now now see what the protein bars look like and also what to expect when you eat them so without further ado uh, do, do. oh no <laughs> uh, go, uh, do. i don't know what's going on I don't, literally anyway so i brought a knife In fact, I'm going to try the whey protein juices first because I just I am So the first one that I'm going to try is orange mango flavor <laughs> Where's the scoop? I've only put a little bit of water in. I put some ice cubes in so it's freezing. Because I don't want a whole scoop. I just want to try maybe perhaps half a scoop. There's only 89 calories in a scoop and 20 grams of protein. So that, if you ask me, is really, really decent. This is a protein shake. However, it's not like a normal shake. It's a juice. probably should have put a bit more protein powder in or a bit less water sorry it's nice you know it's nice that you get 20 grams of protein in a refreshing drink and if you're somebody who doesn't like whey protein like the normal kind of milkshakey texture then this is more of a juice but yeah that's quite impressive i do like that there's a flavor i can't remember what it's called i think it's like rainbow candy and that's meant to be the nicest flavor if you are serious about increasing your protein and you find it hard to eat extra then this is a great way to get protein in and it's just kind of a nice little summer juice if you put ice cubes and this and water in a blender you can make like a smooth not a smoothie a protein slush which i absolutely love doing not that i've done it for a while but i did used to do it all the time i'm not gonna lie i am so excited about this one this is the palm of violets one okay oh the macros for this i'm not going through macros but i'm just telling you the calories in a scoop there's 93 calories and there's 20 grams of protein so this is a bit more calories than the orange mango one. Oh my Word. Oh, it's gone up my nose. That is something else. Oh, it's snowing. Imagine if I dropped all of that. This is palm of violet. Can you actually believe? Shake it up, baby, now. Oh, shake it up, baby. Wow, that's filmy. Let's let that settle for a second. When I got all these protein bars, I never got them all at once, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, there was a sale. The only thing about it was the new limited edition Swizzles collaboration wasn't included in the sale, so I did have to pay quite a lot, especially for these. These were the same price as a normal box of protein bars, yet there's only six in here. <sighs> wow, it's purple. It smells like palmer violets, so does the powder, the powder does, obviously. I wonder if they've crushed palmer violets and put some in, or they've just made a flavour, because it smells so like it. I'm excited, but I don't want to be disappointed. You know when you're just so excited for something that you think, surely it can't actually be that good? I mean, oh actually, the aftertaste is palmer violets. If we're rating it on how much it tastes like palmer violets, it's getting a strong nine and a half because when I swallow it, palmer violets is just in my mouth. The actual drink itself is just a 
palmer violet flavor drink if you want palmer violets you might as well just eat palmer violets but in terms of like resembling the flavor that is so nice and this would be nice in a slush as well i definitely recommend putting the least amount of water in that you can for the scoop like you don't want it to be weak out of the two i think the orange one's got more flavor i don't know if that's because it's settled who knows but out of the two i probably would say that i am preferring the orange one i like fruity things and palmer violet isn't really fruity is it what is palmer violet like what flavor would you call it like i know obviously it's palmer violet but what flavor is palmer violet now that is a question if you guys know the answer to that question comment down below what flavor how would you describe a flavor of palmer violet because what is a palm like what's a palmer violet it's not even a thing is it all my days i've never thought of that so let's move on to the protein bars oh i don't know why but them kind of drinks do fill you up because obviously they are full of protein i've only had a couple of sips Ooh. so the first thing that i'm going to try is the lean protein bar i will put the macros on the screen for all these because i can't bother going through it these have 18 grams of of protein calorie wise just because we want to talk about the calories we'll talk about the calories and maybe the grams of protein calories are 153 gram <laughs> grams calories 153 calories per bar the bars are like this so they're smaller than your average protein bar but not by much they are lean because they are less calories i bought these and i was like what are they even going to be like i couldn't imagine them because they were just called lean protein bar now what does that mean they are like this obviously i'm not going to eat them the whole bar to try it but i'm just gonna cut a little bit off the chocolate layer is really thin this is what they look like in the middle they have little cookie pieces this is the chocolate cookie dough flavor so that's why they have cookies but yeah that's what they look like inside it is quite a thin bar but for the calories honestly these have been like really good for me for like little snacks that are lowering calories so let's have a try quite chewy not gonna lie one eternity later oh my gosh they're quite chewy they're a little bit artificial tasting but if you are on quite a low calorie diet or you are trying to reduce calories they would be good the little cookie crunch as well is a nice addition i'd say that they are nice a little bit artificial tasting like i've already mentioned they're not amazing like carb killers are nicer but they are good for calories and if you are serious about getting healthier or eating less then they are a really good bar because of the macros so yeah i would recommend them but if you are after something that tastes delicious then that's probably not what you want to get i would give them a 6.5 out of 10 but if you're talking about macros they're literally for what they are you probably give them like a nine and a half out of ten the next one that we're going to try is called a protein light bar if you guys have saw these on the website and are intrigued as to what they look like then i am going to show you they are a very high protein bar they're very low in carbs there's 200 just over 200 calories per bar and 21 grams of protein so yeah they are low in carbs which is good if you are trying to be on a low carb diet i don't know i'm not on a low carb diet i just get these so that i can have more carbs from other foods do you know what i mean do you know what i'm saying no restrictions here guys but these are really good if you are like having a snacky day and want something that's going to fill you up this is what it's like i got the cookies and cream flavor there is other flavors it's it's a really weird bar i'm not gonna lie that's why i want to show you guys what it's like before you buy it because it is a very strange looking bar and it's very tough it's more like i don't even know like a nuggety bar i can't even cut it honestly guys it's like this you guys can already tell that the texture is going to be chewy like it hurts your jaw got little crispy bits in it this is probably the most artificial protein bar you're going to try the reason why it's good is because if you're having a snacky day and you eat one of these you don't want to eat anymore because your jaw literally hurts but in terms of taste when you've chewed it the taste is really nice so overall i'd give them about a seven out of ten like they aren't amazing but in terms of macros again i think they would probably get a ten out of ten because they fill me up they taste sweet so they make me feel like i'm eating something really nice and tasty and because they're so chewy and take a while to eat then you feel like you've had a really nice fulfilling snack the next one let's move on this is a messy one i'm just gonna pre-warn you guys it is called a protein rocky road there is 12 grams of protein so it's not an incredible amount like some protein bars are 22 grams etc but for a rocky road it's definitely high in protein and there's 210 calories it looks like this but i am really warning you guys it is the messiest thing in the world she is she's very crumbly 
that's definitely not as sweet as your average rocky road that you'd buy it like from costa but it's definitely more indulgent than a average protein bar if you like it's got a bit of a weird aftertaste like i think it's probably the sweeteners in it in terms of something quite fulfilling and makes you feel like you've had a really nice treat that's a really good idea and obviously if you are focusing on hitting your protein goals then that's gonna give you a good 12 grams overall i'd say that gets a seven and a half out of ten the next thing that we're gonna try is these lean cookies which are cranberry and white chocolate flavor these are really good because they have 25 grams of protein now for such a cute little tiny snack that's quite a good amount of protein and also there's 194 calories so that's really good if you ask me these aren't my favorite protein snack i have tried these before but if you look at it they look so delicious like you'd think that was a real cookie like the texture does look incredible they smell very artificial now I like them better than I remember. The texture's nice, but it's not cookie texture, really. It's kind of like spongy texture. Mmm, a little bit of white chocolate. I think they've grown on me quite a lot, actually. They're definitely nicer than what I remember when I last had them. I think I would recommend them. I'd give that about an 8.5 out of 10. And for the macros as well, definitely. Obviously, they have a little bit of artificial taste. So next, we're going to try... Oh, what should I try next? A protein brownie. What's the macros for this? So per bar, there's 240 calories and 14 grams of protein. So it's kind of similar to the Rocky Road. There's a tad bit more ma macros. bit more protein, but this is what it looks like. Wow, it actually looks pretty good. Wow, that is thick. Look at that. I have a feeling this is going to be very dense and filling. Let's try it. Wow, it got a chocolate layer on top which makes it a touch more indulgent. I've never tried these before. I'm actually impressed. It's super soft, super chocolatey. It's not very sweet. If you're expecting a proper brownie, then that is not a proper brownie. If you're on like a healthier diet and you've been eating quite healthy, that would be a treat. Because if you notice when you eat healthier, it doesn't take that much to make you feel like you're having a treat. You might just have a naked bar that's got no sugar in whatsoever and that feels like a treat. Or you might have a bit of dark chocolate and it feels like a treat. Whereas if you're so used to eating sugary brownies, you're probably gonna be like Ugh, no that's not for me but when you start eating healthier protein bars are like a treat and that's a really healthy alternative for a brownie i personally like it a lot oh i need a breather oh the brownie oh where's the salad I thought I was Welsh then when I said, oh, oh, the brownie. So yeah, that brownie, I would give a 8 out of 10. Nice, but not amazing. But again, a nice little treat. Obviously, everybody's got different opinions. Some people hate protein bars because of the artificial taste. Some people love them. I, for one, am that person that loves protein bars. To me, they're a treat. Like, they're so nice. And obviously, if you're getting that amount of protein as well, to me, that's just worth it. So the next thing that we're going to try is actually my, one of my favourite things. It's the protein wafers what do they have now 197 calories and 15 grams of protein this is the chocolate hazelnut flavor the chocolate peanut butter flavor gotta say is a yes from me to be honest i'm a massive fan of wafers and protein wafers no matter what brand no matter where you get them from i think a dust a dust are just as indulgent as your normal kind of everyday wafer that isn't high protein do you know what i mean this is what it looks like oh it looks like an ice cream cone doesn't it and then it's got two layers of proteiny proteiny i am a massive fan of that word aren't i i say it all the time and then it's got a bit of a chocolate layer at the bottom not massive just a little kind of touch of chocolate to add to the whatever you want to call it the, the bar oh this is another one that goes absolutely everywhere so i have my little piece here oh it's broke never mind guys Mm. I could not recommend these anymore. They are so, so delicious. I'm even eating the crumbs, you know. Yummy. They are a solid 10 out of 10. Crispy, macros are on point, tasty. You literally don't even think you're eating a protein wafer because they just taste like normal. I am the massivest fan. They're probably my favourite. They're the ones that I literally, without a doubt, think that you'll all like. Okay, so the next things are similar, but different. <laughs> so the first one is a baked cookie, chocolate chip flavour. The second one is also a baked cookie. However, it's the vegan double chocolate 
chocolate flavor. We'll try the non-vegan one first. They have 14 grams of protein and 283 calories. So these are a little bit more of the indulgent protein bars because they do have less protein and quite a lot more calories. So they are a bit indulgent, but they're worth it. I promise you guys, like I am a fan of these. Oh, I need to show you guys what they look like. So they look like that. They literally look like a proper okay. And I'm not gonna lie, these are so filling. So that is kind of what it's like. It's not that dense, but it's very chewy. Guys, they're like cookie dough. That's a 10 out of 10. Even though that isn't as low in calories as the others, that is worth the extra calories. The next one is a vegan baked cookie. They have 289 calories, slightly more than the other one, and 13 grams of protein. So slightly less protein, slightly more calories. You guys would not believe that these are vegan. If you're vegan, these are an incredible thing. They look like that. They basically just look like a chocolate cookie. Let's try it. Let's say let's try it like I've never tried it. I've had so many of these in my life. These vegan ones are actually nicer, in my opinion, than the non-vegan ones. So if the non-vegan ones get a 10 out of 10, these get 11 out of 10, just saying. They're so soft, they're so chocolatey, they're so indulgent, you can taste it of sugar, they're sweet. You wouldn't even think they were a protein cookie. They literally taste so indulgent. They are bomb.com. Finally, we're gonna try the drumstick layered bars, which I'm super excited to try because I don't know about you, but anything like this gets me excited. There's 215 calories in a bar and 20 grams of protein and the packaging is so cute. I'm interested to find out if they taste like a drumstick. Not that I've not had a drumstick strick. A drumstick? I've not had a drumstick since I was a child because I'm not really a fan of chewy sweets like that. They look like the birthday cake layered bars. They're kind of similar, I guess. I don't know what to expect. I don't know why I'm trying to smell it. I'm trying to smell drumstick, but that's what it's like. Oh my days. Wow, little crispy bits. Don't get me wrong, like, I can see why they're called drumstick. They are like a drumstick. They look like a drumstick. They've got the same intention as a drumstick with the two different flavours. They don't necessarily taste like a drumstick. They've got a similar milky raspberry taste. I wouldn't say it's anything special. The actual bar, because I'm thinking of drumsticks, my judgement is being clouded. The bar itself is amazing. It's so good, but it tastes pretty identical to the birthday cake layered bar, which I think I have already tried in a video a while ago. It's definitely really nice. It's just not like a drumstick, as I'd imagine. But yeah, that is everything in the little taste test video, guys. I hope this has been kind of insightful for you. If you guys want to order anything off my protein, I hope that you have got a better idea of what you want to order. Again, all opinions are my own, obviously. You guys might have different opinions. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you guys do want to order off my protein, I'll put my little link down below. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a referral link. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other ideas for what I could taste test, because I love taste test videos, not gonna lie, then do let me know as well in the comments below and I will be happy to get on that and get filming more videos for you guys. See you in the next video. Bye!